Hello, boys and girls in Miss Bias class. It's Miss Brenda again. Today, we're going to be reading a story about Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. The book is titled The Spirit of Theo Fernando by Janice Levy. Wake up, my mother calls. It's Day of the Dead. We're going to honor your Theo Fernando. As I get dressed, I watch the sun come up. I miss my favorite uncle, Fernando, who died six months ago. I named Fernando after him, but everyone calls me Nando. Tio Fernando had long skinny legs and the second toe of his right foot was longer than his big toe, just like mine. His mustache would tickle my chin when he lifted me in the air. He always brought me coconut candy that got stuck to my teeth. Yesterday, my mother scrubbed Tio Fernando's tombstone I painted it pink and blue and pulled up the loose weeds. I helped my mother set up the altar in the living room. First, we washed the walls and swept the floor. Then we opened the tablecloth with yellow and green embroidered birds. My mother laughed. Do you remember how Theo's parrot refused to talk? This morning, my mother places sweet smelling candles on the table around pictures of Theo Fernando. One of the photographs, I am sitting on his shoulders. We are both wearing baseball caps. I remember when Theo Fernando let me pick his lucky numbers. He said if he ever won the Loteria, he would be the richest man in Mexico, and we drive all the way to California to see the Dodgers play baseball. My mother puts my uncle's favorite foods, chocolate, cola, and mole, on the altar. I lay his wooden flute there too. When he visited, Theo Fernando would play it for me. When the altar is done, my mother makes lunch. The day of the dead is a time to remember people who have died, whom we will always love, my mother says. Tonight at the fiesta, we will bring Theo Fernando's special things to the cemetery. We will meet with his spirit and show him he has, he has not been forgotten. How will I meet Theo's spirit? Will I see him? Will he make noise? How will I know it is really him? I ask so many questions. My mother kisses me. Some things we just know when it is time to know. She tucks some pesos into my pocket. Go to the market, Nandito. Buy some things that remind you of your uncle. What can I take to the cemetery for Theo? I wander through the market. Bread of the dead, Senor Romero shouts in the marketplace. He holds up loaves of bread that look like twisted bones. He squeezes icing from a tube and draws a skull and crossbones on a round cake. Here, Nando, Senor Romero hands me a blue and pink sugar skull with tinfoil eyes. He writes my name on its forehead. Thank you, Senor Romero. I stare at my name on the skull. How will I meet Theo Fernando's spirit, I ask. I don't know, Nando, but when you do, your heart will be full. I think of the candy my uncle would throw into the air and catch in his mouth. I buy a skeleton of marzipan candy and a cake baked narrow and skinny like Theo Fernando. Devil's costumes, Senora Madalia sings. She shows me the silver bells and mirrors she had sewn onto black pants. I am making devil's costumes for the masqueraders, she says. Here, Nando, Senora Mad Magdalia gives me a white handkerchief stuffed with sticks. She ties a rubber band around the middle and draws two black eyes. This is for you. Thank you, Senora Magdalia. I shake the ghost in my hand. How will I meet Theo Fernando's spirit? I don't know, Nando, but when you do, you will, feel, you will feel good inside. I think of the spooky stories my uncle told me. I remember how he made his voice deep or high or squeaky. I buy an orange and black paper goblin on a stick and a paper mache skeleton riding a small horse. I walk from one end of the market to the other and stop at every stall. There is so much to see. There is so much to think about. I meet my mother. She looks at the things I have bought and smiles. Hold my hand, Nandito, she says. It is getting dark. The street is crowded with musicians, people in costumes and masks troll in circles. I dance to a murmur serenade and laugh at the actors on stage singing songs about life and death. Come, says my mother, let's go to Theo's grave now. The cemetery is nearby. 
Outside it, my mother and I buy marigolds, the special flowers of the dead. We place the flowers on Theo's grave, and they look like an orange blanket. We tie them on the cross too. My mother plays the guitar and sings my uncle's favorite songs. She lights a candle and asks the soul of Theo Fernando to join us in the fiesta, to remember the world he left behind. Is Theo Fernando's spirit here? I whisper. My mother closes her eyes and puts her arm around me. I hear her heart beating, or maybe it is my own. I feel a tickling across my cheek. A bird whistles as high as a flute. A warm wind blows from my head to my feet. I look down and see how the second toe of my right foot sticks out of my sandal. Spirit of Tio Fernando! I look at my mother. She opens her eyes and smiles. Then I am sure that Tio Fernando is happy with his fiesta. He knows that we love him and that he has not been forgotten. The end. I hope we enjoyed this great story about Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. Bye, friends.